I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about systems of two equations, and we're going to solve each system by substitution. So, if I was given this problem, y equals 4x minus 9, and y equals x minus 3. Well, when doing substitution, we want to find which one of these, or if we could easily get a variable by itself, which we can. All right, it's already given to us. Both equations have y written by itself. So, since y is equal to 4x minus 9, I'm going to take that 4x minus 9 and substitute it in for the other y in the other equation. Okay, since y can equal it, I can substitute that in. Hence the method, right? So, we have 4x minus 9 here instead of that y equals x minus 3, which was written there. Now, I'm going to solve for x. I'm going to subtract an x to both sides. I'm going to add a 9 to both sides. 4x minus x is a 3x. And negative 3 plus 9 is a positive 6. From there, I want to get x by itself. I'm going to divide both sides by 3, leaving me x equals a positive 2. We have one of our variables that we found the answer of, right? 2. We need to find the other one. So I need to plug x equals 2, or 2 for x, into one of these equations. I'm going to pick the easier one. I think it's the second equation. So I have my y equals x minus 3, and I'm going to substitute that 2 in for the x. y equals 2 minus 3, okay? 2 minus 3 is a negative 1, so y equals a negative 1. And so our final answer, we can write, all right, as a coordinate point, we have our x and y value, we can write that as a coordinate point here, 2 comma negative 1. That's it. So let's recap. We're given our two equations. We need to uh, solve it by substitution. I had a variable by itself. This y was by itself. So 4x minus 9 was equal to y. Plug it in for that y right here. Try to get x by itself. I added a 9 to both sides. and subtracted x to both sides. Then I divided 3 to both sides. Give me x equals 2. From there, I plugged it into what I thought was the easier equation to substitute the second one right there. And y equals 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. That's my y value. Now, I have my x and y value individually. I can write that as a coordinate point because this is a point where there's a solution for both equations. And that point is 2, negative 